Calvin Evans kicking the Samsung S5 phone. It's Act 2 here at Wooly Bullies, uh, where the 4019s are going to be on stage tonight, direct from California. But I did want to say one thing. Who doesn't remember Dr. Doyle's disc then? He was doing the vinyl, folks, long before anyone else in the Valley. Good people, great family. Thank you for your help. Speaking of uh, great, Axel Rose Slashing Company, Heinz Field, coming up in July on the 12th. Do you believe it? Yeah, it's only been since what, 1992 that they've last played here? That's going to be one of the shows of the summer, no doubt. And with Axel Rose, there's that, there's that X factor. He can come out and be a mess. He can come out and do a brilliant show. Everyone's going to be on the edge of their seat. You don't know what to expect. I saw them with, with what's sort of the Guns N' Roses like three or four years ago in Youngstown. They didn't take the stage till like 1130 or so. They were playing till 1.30 in the morning in Youngstown. It was a good show once he came on, but you never know. Scott Tatey, he, of course, the Beaver Allegheny County Times Entertainment writer, does a great job. One of the things he recently write, wrote about, the Beaver Valley Musicians Hall of Fame, Lincoln Park, May 1st. Front man for Savannah Jack doing big things on the country circuit. Don Gatlin for many years with his brother, Daryl, and they were out in front of acts like the Doobie Brothers, Peter Frampton, Kenny Rogers, and more. I'm real happy for him. Yeah, doing well with his, this, this Savannah Jack, this country rock trio. They tour with Kenny Rogers and Vince Neil, people like that. But you know, every year he comes back and does a show with Savannah Jack and Lincoln Park Performing Arts Center. That's where these award shows are. So he hasn't forgotten his Beaver County roots. Which I think it's a cool thing. All right, two more. Nick Petrella and Ted Nevin. Ted Nevin's a, the director for the Beaver County Wind Symphonic. So, uh, and, and that's the thing I love about these Musicians Hall of Fame. It, it's everything. It's jazz, it's rock, it's R&B, it's classical music. So uh, he, he's a classic example of that. A guy has been around for years. A teacher, an educator, still an active musician. So well represented. Is Nick Petrella? Nick Michelle, this is a guy who's written books about, literally written books about percussion. He, he's played for some major symphonies in, in the Midwest, in the, in the Liverpool Symphony. Uh, he, he's now an educator out at the University of Kansas City, Missouri, so it, it just shows the knowledge. He, musician, writer, educator. That's what this is all about. John Jack the actor, who is this guy? This is a guy that's been, again, in like the West Hill Symphonic, the, the Beaver County Wind Symphonic. Uh, again, just, just a wide range sort of classical training. Uh, his family's been in the music in the Beaver Valley for years, going back to probably like the MPI and some of those bands, so uh, it's like a heritage thing. The Musicians, Politicians, and Italian Club in Aliquippa. Been there, love it. Last one, Paulster posthumously, Chuck Ulmer. Tell me about it. He was an educator as well of the Beaver High School. Uh, he was he was a senior band director for a long time, and that's a big part of this too, and people recognizing how these people taught so many other musicians, so they, they kind of recognize the educational aspect as well as people to go out and actually play in live bands. So. All right, Rock Legend Awards, my good friends Marianne Miller and the legend that is Ed Travis here, who, by the way, is bringing Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons to the Heinz Hall on June 8th. Let's sing, let's sing a little Four Seasons, ready? Cherry, <laughs> Cherry Baby. I love the Four I Seasons. I couldn't hit that note. All right, here we go. Let's go to uh, Billy Price going in part of the great awards that are going to be happening at the Stage AE. And by the way, Mary Ann Miller, Ed Travis Sherry with me on Rock Pat Monday night on KDK, April 25th, just days before the induction uh, ceremonies at the beautiful Stage AE at 10 o'clock on the disc of two Pittsburgh Newsline. Don't miss them. Billy Price. Talking Blue Eyed Soul. He's the master from Pittsburgh, toured nationally with Roy Buchanan. He performed a couple years ago, at the, or last year, at the Hard Rock Cafe when they had the ceremony there. Just blew it out of the park. Just great voice, terrific entertainer. Been representing the region for years. Traveling everywhere. Great guy, Billy Price. A guy who I absolutely love and have had him on the radio and always enjoy anything he does. He, of course, many years swinging that axe, that great guitar for the Iron City House Rockers, Joe Groschecki. Yes, Joe. Talk about representing Pittsburgh. He's got a commercial now during Penguin Games. You've been yep, seeing that, yep. yeah. Uh -huh. Of course, Jay he won a, he won a Grammy writing a song with Bruce Springsteen. Uh, just uh, that was a band that, that Rolling Stone said was one of the best uh, Midwest bands or Rust Belt bands in the world. Uh, if you've ever seen a House Rocker show, you know it, it just it's just so powerful. It's just so what rock and roll is supposed to be. You're feeling the moment. And, in fact, they've been doing it for years, and he's still writing great songs. Uh, yeah, well deserved. Skyliner, Jimmy Beaumont. Let's sing some Skyliner, right? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Pennies from Heaven, maybe. Since I don't have you, I can't hit that C note for the life of me. Well, I think it was cool. Then when Stevie Wonder was in town last year, he recognized that that was one of his favorite bands uh, as a youngster. Oh yeah, that's a band that he, he looked up to, and he brought the Skyliners on stage to, to perform with them. So. Uh, this shows that the sway they had is some, some major doo wop into early rock and roll hits back in the day. Yeah, Joe Rock, the late Joe Rock, their manager, a real, real big part of them. Of course, also co wrote Since I Don't Have You. Pat to Caesar, the king. Got it, brought the Beatles to Pittsburgh. Hello. Uh, he was with the Caesar Ringler for years. That was the concert powerhouse for decades. Any big show that came through Pittsburgh 
99% of the time is booked by the Caesar Angler. So, uh, and since Rich Angler, his partner, was abducted year one, I think it's a well-deserved thing, too. A guy who could have sung bass for The Temptations, Sean McDowell, going in in the broadcast uh, category. What a legend, huh? Not only for being a longtime DJ at WDVE, he's a great music historian. I, I, that's why I listen to him on the air. He's, he tells some stories and takes you back to the old days and he keeps you updated on what some of these classic rock bands are still doing. So, uh, just a great guy. He MCs a lot of shows and uh, he's very talented at it, yeah. All right, now it's the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame must-see television after they do the ceremony. Uh, Coming up on April 9th, they're going to re-air it this spring, and I will be watching NWA. Of course, Dr. Dre. You're a big fan. Yeah, I am yeah. a big fan. Dr. Dre, Ice Cube, uh, Eric Lynn Wright, Eze, the late Eze, MC Ren, and DJ Yella. I know they only had two studio albums, but they rewrote the face of music, and this is a perfect way for them to be really pay tribute to for what they did for music 30 some years ago and I believe will continue to be a big part of as far as influencing future acts for decades to come. Recognizing their influence you hear today, who's the best rapper in the world? Probably Kendrick Lamar from Compton, very much influenced by what they did. Uh, yeah, I like when the Hall of Fame does that. There, there were some people saying, well, it's not rock and roll, but no, the, the influence, the sway they had, just like you said, it, it, it did music for, for generations are still inspired by them. Cheap trick. Ah. Uh, I want you to want me. <laughs> Just another great live band, Live at Budokan. Remember that album? Uh, talking, I'm sure you had that in your vinyl store, boy. That was one yeah, of the best live it. albums. And power pop, they, they, they kind of personify that to me. Just that power pop, great guitar, just pure hook. Every song is a great hook, so uh, mm -hmm. you gotta love Cheat Trick. Smoke on the water. And you know what? As mm -hmm. someone said on Facebook, if there was a Mount Rushmore of rock and roll, Calvin would agree. Deep Purple would be right square in the middle. Love those guys. Mm -hmm. the, the musicianship there with, with Richie Blackmore on guitar, John Lord on keys, Ian Pace on drums. I put them up against anyone, even Led Zeppelin, as far as just the sheer musical talent. And some, some great albums, Deep Purple and Rock Machine had uh, their live album. Yeah, for, for a period in like 70 to 75, they were as good as anyone. Chicago Transit Authority debuted 1969. Does anybody really know what time it is? All of the great songs, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, obviously evolved in Chicago, mixed that brass sound with I mean, great guitar licks, rock and roll as no one had ever heard it, and still good today. And the thing with them, you go see them in concerts, like, here comes a hit, here comes a hit, here comes, they'll do 15 songs in a row that are all huge hits, it's something you almost forget about. Uh, very entertaining band, and like you said, the, the fact mixing the horns and rock, it was pretty, pretty dang at its time, and it, very influential. Baptized uh, by listening to Muddy Waters and B.B. King, Steve Miller found a way to put jazz, the blues, and rock together. You know, some people call me a space cowboy, gangster of love. I fly mean, like an eagle. Fly like and take the money and run so many great songs. And still a big ticket wherever he goes to tour, Steve Miller. There was a time he had the attendance record at Starlight Game for the 26,000 people came out to see him one time. And uh, just a testimony to him. Another guy like Chicago, hit after hit after hit. His ability to write a hook is just um, legendary. So, so many classic songs. Burt Burns going in. Here's a guy that in the 60s and 70s, one of the great record men who wrote songs and had many of the greats of the era perform them, including people like the Beatles and the Rolling Stones. I always like that category. Interesting, yeah. I mean, it shows how, how deep they reach. And, you know, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, there's always someone saying, well, why isn't this band, why isn't that band in there? And uh, I, I like how they, they pick and choose. And they'll do a producer, they'll do a, 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 you know, a hip-hop group or whatever. So it's a daring choice. Jay Woolley has completely remodeled this place, and I must tell you, it's incredible. There's no place like it around. The food is amazing, ladies and gentlemen. He's got more of your IPAs and micro brews than you'll find anywhere. And of course, those traditional favorites like an ice cold Miller or Coors Light, great bartenders. But the thing that he does, he brings the live bands all the time. Aaron's some Skinner down there right now. Listen, that's our cue to get out and enjoy the rest of this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, never drink and drive. Always in the Valley, JV Taxi, Yellow Cab of Pittsburgh, or Uber, because they will get you home safely. So you can come down and kick back and relax and listen to some great music at Woolly Bullies in the heart of New Brighton, right there on the corner of that legendary road, Blockhouse Run. Have a great night.